Hello, you're watching News Mongolia on MNB World. I'm your host, Irtindale Inhamoksum. Our top stories for today. The Mongol Han play is ready for performance in Asian countries. Ambassador of the European Union to Mongolia presents letter of credence to President of Mongolia. Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Mongolia presents letter of credence. Stay tuned for more news. After a successful run in London's West End, the Mongol Han play is set for its Asian debut in Singapore, showcasing Mongolia's rich cultural heritage on the global stage. The play Mongol Han is an export product that embodies the intellect and creativity of the Mongolian people. It demonstrates that Mongolia's resources extend far beyond mining, showcasing the country's cultural potential on the world stage. The play successfully made its international debut last November in London's prestigious West End, being performed 17 times to over 42,000 spectators. Now, Mongol Han is preparing to officially open its curtains in Asia with a planned performance in Singapore. Mongolian culture is not just a few centuries old, it spans many millennia. We have a rich heritage as a state and there are many opportunities to promote our culture worldwide. The performance in London provided us with a significant indicator of success. To put it simply, we've climbed from the foothills straight to the summit, competing with the major shows of West End and performing it in the largest theatre in London. This has opened up even more opportunities for us moving forward. Mongol Hang is a large-scale project that exemplifies Mongolian intellect and creative production. Over 200 artists are involved in bringing this show to international audiences, resonating with Mongolia's name in world-renowned theatres. Additionally, a visual book based on Mongolian Hang has been published in both Spanish and English. I am thrilled to have a part in Mongol Han. It's an incredible opportunity to get acquainted with the culture, traditions, history and customs of the Mongolian people. Initially, I was concerned about the language barrier, but with the help of translators, communication with the artistic team has been smooth. I am committed to further promoting Mongol Ham globally. Through this play, we're leaving behind a cultural legacy for the world, sharing the Mongolian people's heritage and traditions. I see this play as an important way to preserve our history. The fact that we're performing it in English also highlights our artistic talents and skills. The Mongol Han play has caught the attention of international artists and is now planning a tour through Asia, Europe and Australia. Mongolia is taking significant steps to empower women in international trade through the implementation of the She Trades Initiative, a program led by the International Trade Center. In collaboration with the Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, this initiative is designed to support women entrepreneurs in overcoming barriers to trade and fostering a more inclusive and equitable business environment. During the recent World Women's Forum, MNB World interviewed a senior advisor from the She Trades who emphasized the importance of the program's implementation in Mongolia. The advisor highlighted the critical role the initiative will play in addressing the unique challenges faced by women in trade, helping to create a fairer business ecosystem that supports their success on the global stage. Um, actually, I'm representing International Trade Center, um, which is uh, a joint agency of the United Nations and WTO. And from uh, International Trade Center, we have a flagship initiative, we call this uh, She Trades Initiative. And She Trades Initiative is all about removing the barriers to enhance the participation of women entrepreneurs in the international trade. 
Um, for that, we actually work uh, in two broad verticals. Um, the first one is we work on establishing the ecosystem for the woman. So by establishing ecosystem, I mean like we do partnership with the government um, to have the right inclusive policy. We also do partnership with private sectors to have, because they are the buying side, so they're the buyers, so that they are also um, aware of the uh, diversified suppliers and the necessities, how most uh, they can engage them. We also work with different business support organizations, um, trade promotion organizations, like chambers and associations, so that they are also kind of have a very important role to make a bridge between the entrepreneurs and the, um, the other stakeholders. So this is the one vertical that we work, and the second vertical is the woman-led businesses or the woman entrepreneurs. So um, we, we work uh, to enhance their capacities and skills. We try to make them uh, ready for the international trade, and once they're ready and qualified for international trade, we connect them with the international buyers, um, also sometimes local buyers, and uh, we, we, we take them to different trade fairs, internationally reputed trade fairs. We brought trade missions in the country and uh, we also take trade mission outside the country. So inbound and outbound, both we do. And the objective of this is like um, to help the women-led businesses apply whatever learning they had in the capacity development exercises and also all their knowledge and experiences to, in, to, to grow in their business and earn more and be economically empowered. So that is the whole objective, and that's why um, She Trades has, uh, we call it a decentralized resource center, we call it She Trades Hub, and we have right now 18 hubs all across the world, 16 country hubs and two regional hubs, like the Caribbean Hub and the uh, Middle East and North Africa Hub. The She Trades program in Mongolia is part of a global effort to provide women with the necessary tools and opportunities to succeed in international markets. The initiative's flagship event called She Trades Global connects women entrepreneurs with potential buyers, investors, and partners, offering a platform for those ready to export, to expand their reach and grow their businesses. Um, in Mongolia, we have launched this around a year back, and uh, we are, we are really, really excited uh, about the way things are moving in, in, in Mongolia. Um, the objective of having Sheetrits Hub is to have sustainability in the approach, because when a project comes, sometimes it, not sometimes, it's most of the times it has a shelf life. So a project ends maybe in three years, four years, uh, seven years down the line. So when the project ends, we see that the, um, the assets that created, the momentum that is created, the support system that is created for the women-led businesses, that also disappear. So we thought that we will partner with the best, the champion institutions locally who are supporting women-led businesses. And we learn together, we grow together, we support together. So, I mean, even if somebody is not there, the whole system runs, uh, you know, independently. So that is the whole objective. Uh, and for that, we are lucky, we are grateful that we have Mongolia National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, MNCCI, as uh, the host institution of Sheet Trades Hub, Mongolia Hub. They are hosting it. And I must tell you that um, there have been lots of engagements, not only in Ulaanbaatar. So we are going beyond Ulaanbaatar in different provinces. We are um, sharing market information. We are training them on different export-related or other sector-related skills and trainings. Um, we are also uh, have started working in uh, developed partnership with private sectors like Golomb Bank, um, which is a leading bank, to see how best we can facilitate access to finance for women-led businesses. We also partnered with um, other private sectors like Tessa Group and uh, Kanbuk um, Kashmir. Um, and we are not uh, stopping here. We are also making partnership with different associations and chambers. So it's, it's actually uh, growing. And the last point I'd like to ma mention that we also, in last two days, having different interactions and meetings with different partners. Uh, we also started a conversation with the State Procurement Agency, uh, uh, most probably under the Ministry of Finance. And we are also talking about how the public procurement policy can be more inclusive and women can participate more. So that's in a nutshell how we do and what we do. So we look forward. We have a great partners here. And ITC would like to thank everyone uh, who are involved with this uh, forum and uh, have been engaging with uh, leading sheet rates um, all across. And congratulations to all the women entrepreneurs. This partnership between International Trade Center and Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry underscores Mongolia's commitment to advancing women's participation in international trade, positioning the country as a leader in promoting gender equality and economic empowerment in the region. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. 
The Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the European Union to Mongolia, Ina Markiolinit, presented her letter of credence to the President of Mongolia, His Excellency Hurtsuk Okhna, on September 18, 2024. According to Montsame News Agency, the President of Mongolia, His Excellency Hurtsuk Okhna, noted that the bilateral relations and cooperation between Mongolia and the European Union based upon democratic values, including human rights, freedom and the rule of law have been expanding due to the two parties' efforts. At the meeting, the two sides exchanged views on effectively collaborating on the achievements of common goals reflected in the two entities' long-term development policies and action plans and possibilities for further enriching relations between Mongolia and the European Union. Also, the two sides reaffirmed their commitment to effectively conduct their cooperation within the framework of Mongolia's One Billion Trees National Campaign and the European Union's Forest Partnership for Collaborative Contributions to Overcome Global Challenges such as Climate Change, Desertification and Soil Erosion. President Hrusuk wished Ambassador Ina Markiolinit all the best in her future endeavors and pledged to give her all-around support. This year marks the 35th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Mongolia and the European Union, as the parties established diplomatic relations on August 1, 1989. Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the United Arab Emirates to Mongolia, Mohammed Sultan Al Kurtasi Al Nuaimi, presented his letter of credence to the President of Mongolia, His Excellency Hurtsuk Okhna, on September 18, 2024, according to Montseme News Agency. Highlighting the active development of friendly relations and cooperation between Mongolia and the United Arab Emirates, President of Mongolia His Excellency Hurtsuk Okhna noted that the United Arab Emirates' decision to reopen its embassy in Ulaanbaatar is a testament that the country attaches importance to relations between the two countries. The President expressed confidence that the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates would expand mutually beneficial cooperation between the two countries, further enriching cooperation with economic content and increasing investments. The Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Mongolia expressed his commitment to exert all efforts to expand and develop cooperation in all sectors, including politics, economy and trade. Now let's shift our attention to the currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you on Friday with more news and updates. Goodbye.